<sighs> Where are we going today, baby? Dune Allen, round two. Round two. <laughs> I'm Erica, and this is David, and we are 30A Misfits, two transplant locals who love to adventure. Come explore with us. Toon Allen is a place where lake and beach unite. Toon Allen surrounds Lake Allen and Oyster Lake, two of the rare coastal dune lakes of South Bolton. We start our day with a seasonal breakfast, outside, All right. watch some water skiers at a local ski school. And they're active, they're out there, they're jumping. Take in a beautiful view for lunch. Breakfast way. Visit one of Dune Allen's beautiful beach accesses. And then we're gonna go home. Probably work a little bit. Have some dessert next to some famous art. It's got a hybrid cross. Check out a hidden gem of a park. Please be careful. This thing's a death trap. And end our day at one of our favorites. <laughs> Outside. All right. I'll take water. Coffee, please. First Watch first started in Pacific Grove, California in 1983 and focuses on fresh and local ingredients. This location opened in June of 2020. Okay, so what did you get again? Uh, classic Eggs Benedict. All right. And uh, funnily enough, I just told him I've never had eggs benedict. So I mean, I I know what it is, but I never had it. So it's be a new experience for me. They smell so good. They're pumpkin spice donuts, and I know there's like a cinnamon sugar something sprinkle on them. And let's find out. Something lemony. Strong one. Yeah. Both. First Watch had great food and decent prices, but being a franchise, they're definitely more on the tourist side. But we'll see if locals come to love them in the off season. I have no self control. <laughs> We're pretty sure we determined that this is blackberry. That's why I don't hate it. But it's he thought it was raspberry, but I don't hate it. Pretty sure it's blackberry. Okay, that was, I mean, that's up there, my favorite breakfast. That was pretty good. I mean. 24 dollars for. All that. For three items, which isn't great, but it's for 30A or anything close to 30A, that's exceptional. Yeah, and I mean, the amount of food that we got. Good food, really good food. Yeah, so that was. I mean, it's all tourist in here. This is a completely tourist spot, but I can see where- I don't know. I saw quite a few that seemed like they were very comfortable. Well, I mean, I saw people I know. That's how you know. You just you yeah. see people you know. Um, 
this will grow in momentum, I suppose, the locals are in the off season. Yes. Right now it's kind of, it's all tourist right now because the fall break is here. But on to the ski school. On to the ski school. <laughs> We're at Spencer's Lake in upstate New York, and this is top flight trick water skier Corey Pico. Pick Picos, Picos. Corey Pickus did not just show up one day and stand atop the podium. S ski school. Who, according to the Guinness Book, holds the record point totals for trick water skiing. Just watch this guy in action. And they're active, they're out there, they're jumping. The Picos Water Ski and Wakeboard School offers expertise at all levels. They offer single lessons, half and full day lessons, weeks and months. They've held events including the U.S. Nationals, U.S. Team Trials, Pan American Championships, Junior U.S. Open and more. Cool. That was pretty cool. So, Picos or Picos, we still don't know. Ski school. That's fun. We talked we talked to some people, but they barely spoke English. Yeah. So, we're still not entirely sure if we're supposed to be in here. <laughs> but we did it. <laughs> we have not gone through any gates that we didn't know about. Right? Yeah. There were no gates. There weren't any no trespassing signs. There were. You know, there's a big sign that says ski school, so. And I think it's a public road. Oh, look, there's like a winner stand. Uh -huh. says first, second, third place. Maybe I can zoom in on that later. Now we are off to our reservation at The View, which I have never been to. It's part of the golf club, right? Kind of? Sort of? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely it's the clubhouse. Okay. From the golf club. Let's do this thingy. Since opening their doors in 1971, View on 30A has had one of South Walton's best views. Their menu has everything from shrimp and scallops to burgers and even a pork tomahawk for dinner. What's 
your favorite thing for lunch? Um, I do love our burger. Our chicken club is amazing. Uh, um, the catch was really good today. It's blackened uh, fresh gold burger with city grits. It comes with the pistachio cream sauce and it's topped with the pineapple pico de gallo. Okay. 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 All right. Thank you. Sure. What are you thinking? Burger. Okay. I knew. <laughs> I was pretty sure. He is gonna do the burger. Okay, medium rare? Medium yeah, rare. Uh, medium. I'm gonna do the blackberry shrimp taco. Okay. And french fries okay? Or french fries are good. Burger, bacon, and cheese stuff. Right. I got blackberry shrimp tacos. Just fried shrimp with like a blackberry brandy barbecue sauce, pineapple pico, and fries. How is it? I'm so The view has all the makings for a perfect score. Being around since 1971, though, just gives it a local feeling we can't quite put our finger on. Views here. Incredible views. We just finished lunch at the view, and now we're going to go. This was our view. Now we're gonna go to the public beach access. No, no, no. The one we didn't go to last time we came to Dude Allen. And we'll see you there. Is that no trespassing sign? Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, there's one on the other side too. But I'm right there. I don't know where they're at. Yeah, so you got, you know, a good. I used to have the whole beach. So, uh, today's schedule, we already said today's going to be an interesting itinerary, so we're checking out the beach, then we're going to go have some dessert, then we're going to go home, and probably work a little bit, and then go out and do our other activity for the day. All right, so we're headed to go get dessert at yeah. the Donut Hole. Right? Right.
Jane and Reg Moore opened the first donut hole in Destin in 1978. In 1985, they sold the store to Bill and Marilyn Chandler, and their son, Brent, and his wife, Dana, took over the restaurant about 25 years ago. The restaurant has been family owned and operated for the entirety of its existence. This location opened in 1989 and the newest location opened in Inlet Beach in 2014. Many people are surprised to find out the donut hole has a full menu, including dinner. But today, we're here for dessert. I have a question. Do you know if those are highwaymen paintings? I don't know what I've heard they are. Okay, I thought so. They look like it. Thank you. <laughs> Beginning in the late 1950s, a group of mostly self-taught African-American artists devoted themselves to capturing Florida's natural landscapes. 26 artists have been identified as highwaymen, including one woman. So we got a piece of key lime pie because I have heard nothing but good things about donut holes key lime pie. And I've also heard that a good sign for a key lime pie is that it's yellow, not green. And this is yellow, so. The crust is my favorite part, so. It's got a hybrid crust. It's not quite graham cracker, not quite cookie. It's a hybrid. I don't know how to explain it. Ooh, that's good. Thick whipped cream. Mm. It's a good key lime pie. It's not super sour like so many of them are. It's not super sweet either. Right. Perfect. It's really good. Donut hole is an interesting phenomenon. Rather than being just one or the other or a good mix, they're filled with tourists in tourist season and filled with locals during the off season. So we're putting them at a perfect score. I think that was a success. I think it's the best key lime pie I ever had. Erica says otherwise, we'll see. It's everyone in town claims to have the best key lime pie. Somewhere it's gotta be true. I think this might be it. I, however, disagree, but only slightly. This is second place in a very close second. I've got to have Shannon Clare's first. I've got, I will have to see if Shannon Clare's is as good. You haven't had it? It's been a long time. Shannon Clare's will forever stick in my mind because the crust is like a half an inch thick. I'm pretty sure there's coconut in the crust, so that adds like an extra little twist to it, but it's not so much coconut that it takes over. If you're somebody that doesn't like coconut, you probably won't even notice it. But it's so different and so good, and the ratio of pie to crust, it, oh, but this is a very, very close second. This is probably the best traditional key lime pie. Agreed? Agreed. Helen McCall Park is a huge hidden gem in Dune Allen. There are baseball, football, and soccer fields batting cages, picnic tables, playground equipment, splash pad, skate park, and restrooms. A little later in the day, our friends Cole and Emma, who also live on 30A in Gulf Place, brought their baby, the Chunk, to have some fun with us at the park. My last the wheelie's pretty cool. That'll work. <laughs> She's what? Tiny. Oh, really? Oh, it's just a dog day. Oh! She's good. No, and back up. You want out? Uh. Gotta be careful, sis. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy. 
What just happened? Open your mouth. Open your mouth. She just let me in a second and then I recognized, oh, it's the sofa. I'm gonna get down here. Please be careful. This thing's a death trap. finished our fun at Helen McCall Park and now we're going to dinner at Louie Louie. It's a pretty cool park y'all. You know? Yes, that was awesome. Aspen climbed on everything and three of us went down the slide and attempted to break our tailbones and I climbed another rope thingy. Lots of fun. So dinner. You don't usually get dinner. We're doing dinner. Right. Louie Louie. All right, change of plans. Louie Louie was packed. So we came to the other steamboat. We aren't sure exactly when steamboat opened, but we know this location was first. David recalled that several years ago, this location was called Balls Out Sports Bar, which was a favorite among the servers in the area. And after they moved to a new location, steamboats moved in. It was started by sisters Kathy and Frances, and in the beginning, it wasn't very well known. However, the food was amazing, and around here, word will get out among the locals if your food is good. Over 10 years later, they're still serving great Korean beef. I love that you're with such a girl dad. You have a bow in your hat. I know. I accept it. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> like a magic yeah. my, my Lumpia. Can I like little have spring rolls? One of those because she's her mouse. Of course, wandering. this is for everybody. Thank yeah, you this guys. is for everybody. All right, fine. She didn't hit behind it. She kept, <laughs> kept pooping her eyes on. And she knew she had it. Yeah. So Emma <laughs> got the chicken Alfredo. You have to get me first because we're diving fan. in. Oh no, that's fine. I might ask you for a bite because that's my. It's kind of a tie between these two. My favorite thing on the menu. That Ooh, that good. does. And we got the Korean beef comes with a salad, which is entirely too spicy for me, so Ham gets the whole salad. And you got a burger Sounds with pepper jack and fries. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh, Honestly, yeah. I think I'm gonna feed her this on a... mm. 
As much as we want to give steamboats a perfect score, just because we love them so much, they're most definitely more a local's place. Hey, Goofy. <laughs> See what happened? Big, big. Yeah. 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 Come on! Well, I'm gonna hand me kisses. You gotta, you gotta release. <laughs> you gotta let it go. All right, y'all. Okay. Fun. Love you. Guys up tomorrow. Okay. The card filled up on the camera, so this is on my phone. Hopefully, the resolution's okay. But. We finished our dinner at Steamboats. This has been a long day, long tour, but it was fun. Good day. Great day. Mm. Now we are off to our reservation at The View. Hang on, we got a half hour. I gotta fly the drone, baby. All right, well, can I just say that to the camper? Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody saw it, nobody saw it. Dust it off. Dust, Dust it, it off. off. Dust it right? off. Right? Right? There you Here go. You go. <laughs> <laughs> see the drone, right? You see the drone? You see the drone? <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're cleaning out a litter box. Yeah. That might be a turd. We just don't know. <laughs> Are you okay? Well, it is. Yeah. 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 Usually I don't have to cover myself up, but that one was bad. Right. 